Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to safely and quickly update your motherboard's BIOS. First, you have to have a flash drive. Flash drive should have at least an 8GB or higher depending on uh, the requirement of your motherboard. But normally, 8GB of uh, USB flash drive will already do. Okay, now I'm plugging my USB flash drive okay there's my scan if you have a, a virus scanner like this it will just pop up if it if you don't have or use a different thing that's okay all right first is we have to make sure that our flash drive is clean and nothing is in there so in my case i have a 32 gigabyte uh, flash drive here what we have to do is format this you know we have to reformat as you can see here this is my motherboard's previous uh, uh, flash um, bios but we're going to change this one because we're going to update it we're gonna we don't need that anymore so we'll just have to format the um, usb drive click format right click there and hit format hit the restore uh, device defaults just to make sure it has a default def uh, default settings make sure that your file system is actually on fat32 not an ntf not an ntfs or an xfat fat32 because this is the basic file system that uh, the modern uh, buyers or motherboard actually understands all right so i click the usb usb or I can just put uh, USB BIOS it depends on what you want and then click start it it doesn't matter if you click quick format or not but you know for our video sake it's it's okay for just doing a quick format and then it sends you a warning then erase it there you go and it's done your drive flash drive is now clean and it uh, already changed its file name easier for you to locate later on okay then we minimize that we go to our motherboard's uh, website okay you have to choose on my case i have an asus uh, tuf gaming z690 plus uh, wi-fi d4 uh, motherboard you have to go to its support page here and then go to the drivers and tools you go to bias and then it will show you that you have a new bias here right it's dated um, august 9 2024 this is a new one because as you can see earlier uh, before i reformatted my flash drive i have this 3701 which is my current bias now we're updating it to this newer one we can read all the updates or what the update of the bias is all about right which is very important now I'll click download here you go I believe it's done quickly because it's just a small file and then click there you go you can see the file is now on zip file and then all we have to do is copy that and put it here oh sorry um here in the usb bias is the one that we've created so we paste it there there you go and since the zip file the motherboard bias program will not identify that or will not read it we we'll have to right click that and extract it there you go extract it in the same uh, drive there you go it's that quick and easy you don't need this anymore you have to delete the zip file and double click the folder because in most of the uh, bias program it actually has this uh, bias renamer because this is an actual file uh, not readable yet for the computer okay Sorry, not readable for the bias. Okay. Now hit the bias renamer. 
there you go it's now asking you to continue so it can rename this it already renamed it earlier right there was a longer file earlier so what it says it already been renamed so I have to click enter there and it's done now we are already uh, prepared to do our uh, BIOS flash now I click exit exit this one we have to restart we just have to wait as your computer reboots once you see the BIOS flash screen you hit delete right? delete or F2 or 12 depending on your motherboard's uh, bias uh, setup there you can see the flash screen hit the delete button and there you go we are now here in our UEFI uh, bias utility okay when upgrading the bias you have to go to its tool there's an ASUS easy flash tree utility you have to enter that or click now we have to look for that uh, USB drive that we already plugged in the system. There, it already you can see it's here in our screen. Click that. You can actually find it here if you want to look. It's not here, right? some folders it's a 32 drive so you can see a 29 323 here that is our flash drive hit enter and for this one this is the file that we have prepared earlier click double click now it's give you an important notice before you continue then we click yes do you want to read this yes there now you can see you know the bias information that we have downloaded this is the version of 3802 the current version that I have is the 3701 just have to make sure that you have the to make sure that you have downloaded the correct uh, model of, of the bias for the bias that you have you have to make sure that the model up here is also the same as what the model up here after reading now it's asking you to if you really want to update the bias it's also for the system system safety and also for you at the same time a, um, a reminder just to make sure before doing any of this before you've started to to reboot your system or update your bias you have to make sure that you are plugged into a very stable uh, power supply or a ups i would recommend uninterruptible uh, power supply All right it can be portable of or if you have it in your uh, unit or the house or a system or a building where you are I would recommend for for you to plug it there you know um, so that you will avoid any um, power uh, disruption uh, fluctuation or outage because once your system is already running the update and it gets interrupted it got it will get interrupted because of the power supply then chances are your system will not going to boot up again or anymore okay just to make sure everything's all set then you click yes then system will start to update I'm just I'm just gonna stay here so that you can see how you know it's clearing its database how it's actually um, doing its uh, thing to update your bias usually this takes up to like three to five minutes depending on your system and your flash drive speed as well currently i plug the usb type c kind of flash drive
I'm giving you the real-time uh, cleaning of the database and updating so it's like a real-time experience on how would you would actually experience it when you upgrade your bias or update your bias this is why it's very important for your system to be plugged to a uh, reliable power supply or power source so you will not get interrupted around this time because of this moment this is the critical moment that your power is really needed to be stable it's almost halfway there updating its sections and areas on the chip on the bias chip As you can see up here they have like a, from June 28 since the last update and they have a new one for August 8th of the same year 2024 still running All right it's about to finish now you can either click OK or just the system will just reboot itself. There you go. And we'll just wait for it to reboot. For some system, it takes a while. Because there are lots of updates and uh, firmware checks that uh, it's looking before it actually reboots. Now the system just booted uh, on the first time. It's not showing anything yet on the screen. As long as you see the flash screen, we're going to hit uh, the bias. There you go. Okay, now we can already see that the um, bias file revision has been updated. It's now 3802. Great. Okay. Now we continue. It says here before making any adjustments in the bias, please press F5 to load the factory default setting to ensure smooth operation if setting up an Intel RAID, if you have a RAID um, a system for your hard drives. But if you don't have it, that's fine you can configure it according to the interface for better compatibility now please press f1 so we're now going to press f1 to enter the bio setup it should there you go so now we are back in its default uh, screen if you can see my mouse there it's now we'll just have to go to advanced mode right there now we are here system looks good and healthy before anything else that you're going to to do on your bias you have to click the load optimize default just to make sure that everything is actually correctly uh, configured on its default before you can even start and using your computer Now I drop to the mail into fail and save. You have to look for that uh, XMP uh, version of it. There you go. Just to make sure that your RAMs are actually running on based on what it's designed for. XMP one is always the safe, uh, safest way to do it. We're doing this as you can see here. The memory frequency that I have here is 2133. It's showing the base JDEC. Okay. But um, my installed RAM is actually at 3600 megahertz. And voltage is, is uh, I believe, 1.4, not a 1.2. Okay. Just to make sure that your system is fully optimized, I click XMP there. There. Now 
it gives me the DDR4 3600 the 3603 because of the counting okay. all right for most of the system this is actually a good uh, uh, setup but all you have to do now is to reboot mm -hmm. save changes and reset and if you have extra settings or other settings that you have uh, custom or modified for your system you can do that after this reboot but if you don't have it you'll be good going back to windows put up again thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe for more quality videos thank you have a good day